Sometimes on a the freight, they need like different serial numbers um, for you to, for them to identify the freight. So this one in the mornings, but they can't find my load. So I'm hoping they find my load because I really want this load. So right now I hit the office up twice because we asked the broker for the IT number. And the number they gave us was incorrect. So I had to go back in the building, give them the number. And the guy was like, nope, that's not it. Go try again. So I had to hit the office back again, let them know the IT number they gave me was incorrect. So now I'm waiting on them to give me a new IT number. So hopefully I can pick this freight up and get it dropped off. So I'll let you guys know if I get the load. If I don't get the load, then I'll probably get a tow new. Um, <clears throat> if I get the tow new, then they're gonna pay me just to uh, go back home. But I want the load, so let's hope. Um, everything goes good. I'll keep you guys posted. Alright guys, I finally got loaded. I've been here 7.45 this morning. It is 12.45 p.m. There was a bunch of delays. Information wasn't correct on the paperwork and the IT number that they gave me was totally, well actually it was actually correct but the freight wasn't here yet. So they had to get the freight, get it set up in their system, and then get me loaded. So I finally literally just got loaded, took the pictures, sent the paperwork over to the office, and I just got the good to go. So I'm great here down with Nessus, Virginia. I should have, by now, I should have picked this load up, dropped it off, and been back home by now. And I haven't even left yet. So I'm about to leave now. One good thing though, they did give me detention time for all the time I was sitting. Um, so 8.45, 7.45, they started my detention time an hour early. It's supposed to be a two hour wait before they um, start detention time. They actually started within the first hour. So that was like really good. So I get detention time from 8.45, 9.45. No, I started at 7.45. So it started at 8.45. So 8.45 to 9.45, so that's an hour. 10.45, another hour. 11.45, another hour. 12.45, another hour. So four hours worth of detention time will be added to this trip. So I give you all the numbers at the end once I get them back from the office. So let me get on the road so I can get out of here so I can get this load dropped and get back home. So I'll show you all the pictures and the videos of everything once I get to the drop off and uh, let you know how the drop off go. Hopefully the drop off go a whole lot smoother than the pickup because this one, four hours, really, is too much. All right, guys, so I just made my um, drop finally. It was pretty easy. Uh, they had a really tight ramp. You should be able to see in the video. They had a really tight ramp. I had to squeeze up the ramp to uh, get the van in there, get back in the warehouse. That's the thing. Sometimes you, um, the receiver actually, the back actually in the warehouse. Uh, for some reason, they don't come out. I don't know what that's about, but every company had their own rules. So don't trip if somebody tell you come in the warehouse. 
Um, and then a lot of people like, sorry about that. A lot of people, um, they don't want you in the warehouse, so you can't come in the warehouse. They rub, they is they come outside. So it's just you gotta be prepared. Like every receiver, every shipper is different. You know, a lot of them are similar, but most most of the time they kind of different. So, but it was an easy drop. Pickup was a little annoying because it took a little long for the pickup, but they gave me an extra 150 bucks for the weight. So I'm cool with that. So pretty good, good day to go 60 miles. Not really complaining about it. You know, sitting and waiting sometimes can be a little headache, but the state of the industry right now, I have to slow things up and everything like that. You know, I'm pretty I'm pretty cool with taking it. So I'm gonna catch some traffic coming back now because it's like three o'clock. So it's gonna, I'm gonna get caught quite a bit of traffic going back home, but that's just the nature of the beast. We drivers, that's what we do. So we really no getting around it. So um, definitely appreciate y'all checking out the video. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, um, hit the like button. Um, leave a comment you know I'm always looking for suggestions what I could do better different so I'm, I don't get offended by comments so just leave a comment you know if you got any ideas of what I could be uh, reporting back to y'all on so hopefully this was a um, productive video for you guys um, and I see you guys on the next one I never made it